Hello, my name is Swissbianco. In this video I will talk about the UTG Model 47 side folding stock adapter. I just got that in. The UTG is a brand that is pretty common in USA. Uh, many items are made in China, this one too. Uh, we see some more information there uh, about it. Uh, basically basically that you can uh, convert different uh, fixed stocks into the, the R15 style sliding stock variation of course it would would uh, work with the uh, with the pistol buffer tube as well we're gonna have a look at that too item is simply packed packaged in this one and then in that clear bag uh, nothing too much there the aluminum looks like that is not a casting but CNC machined uh, I did not take it apart yet so it's it's a bit hard to say put a bit of oil on it it came on completely dry uh, what we see on this part here uh, we have the threaded adapter that would go into the R15 style uh, lower receiver. Also uh, many shotguns have pistol grips that this part here would would uh, screw in so you can actually uh, uh, put this between the pistol grip and the sliding stock of the R15 if you have that on a shotgun. Uh, we have the castle nut here that comes with it so you can counter lock it uh, then on that part here we have the same thread but inside uh, that would be for the sliding stock or for a buffer tube whatever you gonna gonna put in here and that part here doesn't have the regular R15 style uh, slot and all so they put in on top this set screw unfortunately with a allen wrench so that uh, is is not provided that allen wrench so you need to uh, make sure you get the, the correct one that fits in there uh, problem gonna be in the field in case you need to change something uh, that correct one quite likely you're not gonna have with you so I'm gonna change this to a regular screw head quite likely a Phillips so that is this side we see here on top the folding at the, the stock hinge part in the folded open position we see it's still space here and here we see the engaging surface here and of course on the flat side so that has plenty of, of uh, space to wear in then on the other side that is maybe the more interesting side we have here the spring on that side we have here the angled corner and here the gap that we gonna that would still allow to wear in of that of that uh, hinge system. The part here, the distance here is as you press that down, you can fold it over. Because that thing is not on a lower receiver or mounted on any any uh, item, that's a bit harder to fold in. What you do is basically press that thing down and then you're gonna slide it open uh, this is halfway we see the spring is compressed the part here is over the rim there and then you slide it and then it locks like that too uh, the the design of that the design of that item of that style here is that it locks in both positions so there is not an angle on it that you can simply press that you need in the in the folder position you need to press the thing down and then gonna hinge it open that is how that is on this design but uh, it still makes a pretty good impression for what it is the price that I paid is less than $20 shipped from eBay uh, on some vendors it may be a bit more it depends so as we look with this Palmetto State Armory buffer tube it's a R15 pistol style 
uh, you can screw that in here it will go a bit further in as the screw is out but that's what that would look like in the folded uh, position uh, you can also play a bit with the length of the buffer tube if you're not going to screw it in all the way about halfway would be would be enough on uh, that style here and then you can put this part here in uh, either the R15 lower or uh, shotgun uh, pistol grip uh, what we have to say this would only work with a uh, with it like with the 22 caliber conversion kit for the R15 uh, we have not a hole that the bolt would go through this part here so it could actually cycle in a in a R15 so that will work only like on the the 22 CMMG uh, kits or you can fit it to other firearms uh, this one gonna get fitted to a different gun I just needed a hinge part that I can use for the for the buffer tube so I can have that as a as a part in between instead of mounting the the buffer tube directly to the to the receiver that I can actually fold the thing down that it is more compact for storage as we open the thing now we have more leverage you simply press that down and then you can a little bit more we see there and then it snaps in so the quality looks pretty good it's straight it's nice aligned it's not too too big should work uh, you can also saw off that part here and simply use the aluminum and screw it on or uh, weld it on that is up to you uh, what we can take apart uh, too easy is the hinge part here it's a metal screw as best as I see it's threaded and minimum on one side apparently how it looks uh, but they have uh, completely taken off the head so we can't take it apart and check with the spring and all that it's simply together if we're gonna take that apart for uh, fixing or or changing we need to make a new screw that goes all the way through and uh, this time with a with a head that we can take it off or a, a pin or something that we can take it off so all in all I'm surprised about the quality and all that you get for around $19 shipped here in USA for uh, the hinge only the pistol buffer tube of course cost a bit money as well but uh, if you need a hinge something that works that uh, last uh, quite likely not not in a like for the Dragunov in the stronger calibers and all that uh, that is a bit on the weak side with aluminium I would say but if it's uh, something in 22 or 556 762 by 39 uh, that should pretty good work for a while how the, the quality looks yeah that much from the UTG model 47 side folding stock adapter